In today's video, I wanted to discuss the careers of Stefan Edberg and Boris Becker because these guys, of course, are often compared to each other. They're pretty much the same age. Uh, Becker, I believe, is a year and a half younger than Edberg. And they were both able to win six Grand Slam titles throughout the course of their career. Um, Stefan Edberg was a two-time Australian Open champion, two-time Wimbledon champion, and a two-time U.S. Open champion. Whereas Becker was a, uh, I believe, a two-time Wimbledon, or sorry, two-time Australian Open champion, three-time Wimbledon champion, and one-time U.S. Open champion. There we go. Now, in addition to all that, they were former world number ones, and they had a very similar playing style. They were both serving volleyers, so it makes sense he would want to compare them to each other. But um, the reason that I think that Edberg had the better career is because. In 1989, he played Michael Chang at the French Open, and the match went to a fifth set. And in the fifth set, Edberg was up a break against Chang. He was very, very close to winning his first um, French Open title, potentially. And what happened was Michael was able to come raging back. He wound up winning that match. He won his first and only Grand Slam at the age of 17. And Edberg was never, never again able to reach another final at the French Open. So. If he had won that final in 1989, here's the thing, he would have actually become the first person since Rod Laver to complete the career Grand Slam in 1991 when he won the U.S. Open. So he was actually very, very close to doing that, and that distinguishment would not have gone to Andre Agassi, it would have gone to Edberg instead. So that's the reason why I kind of feel that Edberg maybe had the better career, and also he won two out of the three Wimbledon Classics uh, against Becker. Um, I, I do admit it's a very, very close head-to-head uh, -head either way. Both had excellent careers, obviously. But uh, if I had to pick between the two, I'd probably go a little bit more in favor of Edberg. I do think he's kind of um, an underrated player. And then another reason that I would lean in favor of Edberg was because of the fact that he was able to beat Pete Sampras at the 1992 U.S. Open. He defeated him in the finals that year, and then he followed that up by beating Pete Sampras again at the Australian Open the following year. So I can't think of anyone else from the 90s who was able to beat Pete Sampras in consecutive slams. So I kind of feel that Edberg's peak was probably a little bit underrated because of that. Anyway guys, that does it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below who you think had the better career between Edberg and Becker. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you at the next one. This is Chris, signing out.